。那么接下来呢，我们再来看一下这个第四题啊，第四题。那么 task four 第四题，那么它的形式和第三题还是一样的，叫 read, listen, then speak. Read, listen, and speak. 那么读、听、说啊，读、听、说。那么读听说呢？这个读当然是 about about about、uh, academic issue, maybe a term, okay, a principle, theory, definition, and etc. Okay. 那么 after the reading, you will、uh, take a lecture. 就会得到一个 lecture. 那这个 lecture 呢，事实上就是一个 professor will give you an example, an example where two examples in order to illustrate the term. Okay. 从那从而去说这个 term. Okay. 那么当你得到这个 term 之后呢，啊，我们需要做什么？ What do we need to do? Uh, what we need to do? Okay. 那就是 uh use two examples to demonstrate or illustrate the principle, theory, phenomenon, or relationship, and etc. Okay. So uh, that's it. Okay, 那么现在呢，我们来看一下这个文章的内容。Questioning, uh, awareness of, uh, effect. Okay, 那就说问题啊，提醒效应。呃，那么 when a student engages in disruptive behavior in in the classroom. Okay, 当一个学生呢，在这个从事一个啊，或者正在做一个扰乱性行为的时候啊，当然在课堂上啊，做一个扰乱扰乱性行为的时候 ，it inactively impacts on both the teacher's ability to teach. And other students' ability to learn. Okay, 那这样呢，它会有一个非常差的啊影响。那它会影响这个老师去讲座的这样的一个能力，也会影响这个别的学生听课的这样一个能力。那么 ，one way of teacher can correct disruptive behavior is by questioning awareness of effect. Okay, 那么其中一个啊，这个老师能纠正啊，调整纠正啊这样的一个呃、啊、扰乱性行为的方法，就是通过怎么样？ By questioning awareness of effect, 叫问题提醒啊效应啊来，这个这个去做这样的一个事儿。那么 with this technique, 用这样的一个技巧 ，when a student when a student disrupts the class, the teacher asks a question that draws attention to the negative effects of the student's behavior. Okay, 也就是说说什么呢？当一个学生呢扰扰乱课堂的课堂的时候，这个老师啊可以问一个问题。那么把这个学生的这样的这个经历啊，转换到他的这个 negative effect of the student's behavior， 转换到他自己这个行为有这个这个不好的这个影响上啊，影响上。Sorry， 那么 the teacher often does not wait for an answer. OK， 老师根本不会去等着啊这样的一个答案。But immediately, immediately、uh, continues teaching. OK， 这个教授啊，这个老师会直接马上的啊，接着就去去教啊，去教课，继续讲。But thus simply drawing attention. To the effect of students' behavior. Okay. 那么，但是呢，就简这个简单的啊，就把这个 attention 呢，呃、uh, ，to the effect of students' behavior. Uh, the teacher can often lead the student to dis discontinue the behavior. 那么，通过这样的一个方法，是吧？通过这样把他的精力拽回到自己的行为上的这样的一种方法，也就是说，让他自己注意到自己的行为这样的一个方法，那么会使这个学生呢停止他的行为。那事实上，在说第四题的时候啊，我们知道第四题，我们一直啊说这个 topic 的名字叫什么呢？叫再写一遍啊 ，general and。Specific, okay. 那么 general and specific， 它指的就是谁啊？它指的就是 reading， 它指的就是谁啊？它指的就是 listening。那么他们啊，都在做一个事儿，就是解释一个什么？解释一个 term。啊，那么我们需要做的是 match， okay， 把它们 match 上，对不对？把它们 match 上。啊， general and specific reading listening term， okay。那么接下来呢，我们回来看一下这个题目啊，说、so, questioning awareness of effect。When the student engages disruptive behavior in the classroom, it negatively impacts on both the teacher's ability to teach and other students' ability to learn. Okay, one way of teacher, one way the teacher can correct disruptive、uh, behavior is by questioning awareness of effect. Okay, 那事实上来讲，这一块就是它的什么？它的 definition， 因为这个里面出现了 questioning 啊，还有 awareness of effect。那么接下来再看下面啊、uh, ，with this technique when the student OK， 这儿就在说什么？就在说啊、uh, 这个 explanation。那所以说这块我们管它叫 explanation， 而这块画括号的就管它叫啊、uh, definition。那么这个 explanation 里面解释说，当一个学生啊、uh, disrupt the class， the teacher asks a question that draws the attention to the negative impact、uh, effect of the student's behavior， 
uh, the teacher are, uh, then does not wait for an answer, but immediately uh, continues teaching, but by thus simply drawing attention to the effects of students' behavior, uh, the teacher can often lead the student to discontinue the behavior. Okay, 那实际上我们就知道这里面有一些，比如说这个 student 啊，是什么样的这个呃是哪个学生啊？这个 disrupt OK 到底是如何啊让的这个 disrupt 呃 disruptive behavior 到底是什么样的？那么 the teacher 是吧？问了什么样的一个一个一个一个问题啊？问了一个什么样的问题？那么最后这个学生一定是停止了自己这样的一个不好的行为。那虽然没有听听力，我们就已经能知道听力材料中可能会有什么了。那接下来我们看一下听力材料教授是怎么讲的。啊、uh, ，Professor， 他开始说了，说 ，So I used to teach a class of eight years old, and、uh, one problem sometimes had was getting the kids to raise their hands when they wanted to answer a question. Uh, like lots of teachers, I had the rule that if a student wanted to answer a question, they needed to raise their hand in the air and wait uh, wait until uh, I, I call their name before speaking.、Uh, that gave all the students a chance to participate, which helped everyone、uh, get more out of the discussion. But some kids had trouble following the rule. Okay, 他说啊，这个我经常啊。I、uh, so I used to teach a class of eight years old, and one problem I sometimes had was getting the kids to raise their hands when they wanted to answer a question. Okay, 在这儿他说，我过去啊常常教一些这个班级都是八岁左右的小孩，是吧？那么有一个问题就是，呃，当我想让他们举手回答问题的时候啊，啊、呃，就会出现一个状况，什么状况呢？ Uh, like lots of teachers, 就像很多老师一样 ，I had the rule that if a student wanted to Answer a question.、Uh, they needed to raise their hand in the air and wait until I call their name before speaking. 那么他们必须得把手举起来，然后呢，等待我叫他的名字，他才能回答。That give all the students the chance to participate. 这样能给所有的学生机会啊，加入这样的一个啊课堂回答问题讨论的过程当中。Which helped everyone、uh, get more out of the discussion. OK， 这样呢就会让所有的人啊、uh, get more out of the discussion. 啊，他们会站起来去回答问题，而不只是讨论。But some kids had trouble following the rule. OK， 但是有些小孩呢就不太。啊，这个容易啊，去 follow the rule， OK， 他追不上啊，他追不上，或者说他他不听不遵守这样的一个 rule， OK。那接下来我们看这儿， I remember there was， 呃， there was one， 呃， there was a girl， there was on， uh， sorry， 这应该是 there was one girl， OK， girl Sarah， who didn't raise their， uh， raise her hand when she wanted to answer a question。She would just call out the answer, and we,、uh, this was frustrating for the other children who were waiting patiently with their hands raised. Okay, 那么他说，我就记得啊，就有一个有呃、uh, ，there was one girl, Sarah. Okay, 有这样的一个小孩是吧？有一个小小姑娘叫 Sarah 啊、uh, ，Sarah. 那么 who didn't raise the, her hand? 她根本就不举手。然后呢 ，when、uh, she wanted to answer a question, 她想回答问题，她不举手，她就回答。Okay. 那么 she would just call out the answer. 她就直接说出这个。Die, and this was frustrating for、uh, the other children、uh, who were waiting patiently with their、uh, with their hands raised. Okay. 那么对于那些举手等待的小孩，是无疑是一种非常啊，嗯，这个不爽的一种一种感觉啊，一种感觉。都静静的这个有耐心的等待呢，大家就自己说出来了。Okay. So one day, uh, when Sarah called out, I asked her if she knew that calling out was unfair to the other students. I said to her, Sarah. Do you realize that when you call out answers without raising your hand, you are not being fair to the other students? Okay. 那么我就这样去跟他说，说 Sarah， 你有没有意识到你回答问题没有举手就回答问题，对于别的同学来讲是一种不公平的，是吧？不公平的。And I didn't wait for her to answer. I just continued teaching the class. And after that, any any time I asked the class a question, Sarah didn't call out the answer. She raised her hand along with everyone else. Okay. 那这个时候呢，我就继续没有等待他回答我。那么我继续就怎么样啊？就去这个去
啊，继续讲课。那后面我又问了一个问题，这个时候呢，他就跟别人一样啊，一起举起手，等待着我去教。OK， 那这样就可以了。事实上呢，这个根本就不是一个什么呃大家不知道的一个技巧，对不对？这个大家在这个授课的时候，可能也都会有这样的一个经历。比如说，甚至同学们在跟别人在做 presentation 的时候，对不对？或者说我们在跟别人交流的时候，别人在插话，你可能都会使用这样的一个技巧。但是啊，这种技技巧呢，尽量还是少用。我当然是我个人认为啊，个人认为。那么我们还有一些更好的这个 awareness 呃 awareness of effect。OK， 但只不过不是 questioning 的，对不对啊？不是 questioning 的，我们可以是 joking。Awareness of effect, 对不对？我会认为它会更好啊。那么这样结束了之后呢？我们看这儿 ，explain how the example from the lecture illustrates the technique of questioning awareness of effect. Okay, preparation time thirty seconds, response time sixty seconds. Okay, so right here, let's uh have a look at the notes. Okay, uh tips reading. The technique of、uh, technique of questioning awareness of effect is to draw one's attention to the effect of his or her behavior. Listening example: Correct disruptive behavior of a student. Sarah had trouble waiting to raise her hands before talking. The professor asked her if she realized that by doing that she was treating、uh, other students unfairly. Okay, 那么对待其他同学是不公平的 Okay, from then on, Sarah always followed the rule to raise her hand. Okay, 那一般她就会举起手啊，要等着，对吧？等着。那接下来我们看这儿 ，the technique of questioning awareness of effect is when you draw attention to the effect of behavior. Ah,、uh, teachers can use it to try to discourage disruptive behavior from students. Ah,、uh, the professor gives the example of when he was teaching eight-year-old children, and some of them had trouble waiting to raise their hands before talking. Ah,、uh, one student, Sarah, was particularly bad at this.、Uh, at this. And never waited before shouting out an answer to questions.、Uh, the professor eventually asked the, asked the, her one day if she realized that by doing that she was treating the other more patient students unfairly.、Uh, he didn't wait for an answer, but just、uh, continued with his lesson. But from that point on, Sarah always followed the rule to raise her hand and be called on. Uh, before speaking, okay. 那这样呢，我们这个答案啊也就说完了，那也就说完了。那也就说这个呃技能，我们先要说一下它大体的意思，然后再把具体实力套路进去，让大家认真啊，让大家清楚的了解这个方法在实际操作的时候是什么样的啊就可以了。Okay， 还是它有一个 general requirement， 就是什么呢？就是你需要用例子能解释说明这个概念，那这样才可以啊，这样才可以。Okay.